Hi, I'm Juliette, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips now that you've found out that your child has a peanut allergy. Now, I'm going to be time stamping this video, so if there is one section that you're more interested in than another, feel free to skip on to that section, but I would really appreciate it if you would watch the whole video. But let's go ahead and jump right into it, and I've got so much to go over, and I've got it here on my computer so I don't forget anything, so sorry if I'm looking back and forth, but let's get started. So first, I would like to know if you would comment down below your story of how you found out that your child has an allergy. So that way we can kind of see if they're similar. So for me, um, my daughter just turned three, her name's Luxie. Luxie's pediatrician really wanted me to have her try peanuts before her eight month checkup. So she said that the earlier that you introduce them to peanuts, the less likely they are to develop an allergy to them. So I was like, okay. So she told me to find some Bomba Puffs and have her try those. So I went to Target one day and I saw them. So I picked them up and I just kind of put them on top of the fridge. For some reason, my mama gut was telling me that Luxie was allergic. And I even told my mom this, which is so funny, not really funny, but weird, because no one on my side of the family or my husband's is allergic to peanuts at all. We have no allergies like that in our family. So um, it was really weird that I felt that way, but it was coming closer to her appointment time. It was a few days before and I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So she was in her walker and I put some puffs on her walker and she picked one up and put it to her mouth and instantly dropped it and didn't want anything to do with it. Which, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know how Luxie is about food. She loves food. She's my little foodie. So that was weird. Gonna try peanut butter for the first time. And take a bite. Nope. Okay. Well, within five minutes, Luxie's lips started to swell. She had a rash on her face. And so I took her out of her walker and I took her Winsy off and I realized that her whole stomach was covered like in hives. And even her fingers had whelps on them from where she touched it. So I instantly knew she was allergic to peanuts. And luckily I asked my pediatrician or Luxie's pediatrician um, before we started foods, if she does have an allergy, what can I do? And so she gave me the dosage for Luxie's age if an emergency like this happened. So I found the Benadryl and I gave her Benadryl and then I tried to call the pediatrician and they put me on hold. So after just a few seconds of looking at my baby, I was just terrified that she was going to stop breathing or something like that. So I told my husband, let's just go to the ER. So we flew to the ER, not really, but really in the car. And um, they took her back immediately. I think they gave her more Benadryl. And then we just kind of waited for a few hours. They wanted to monitor her and they said for sure she was allergic to peanuts. No more peanuts. They thought that it was weird that a doctor would recommend a baby try peanuts because when they went to school, they were always taught that you shouldn't give peanuts to any child under the age of one. So I thought that that was weird, um, but they said maybe it's just a new way of teaching. And so um, I did talk to her pediatrician about this afterwards. I set up an appointment pretty much immediately after. She already had one set, but I think I bumped it up sooner because I was just freaked at this point. So we talked about her allergy. She went ahead and prescribed Luxie an EpiPen, and then we had some labs done to see how allergic she really is. Sorry, while I'm editing this, I noticed that I said that she had an allergy panel done. We actually had that done a year later. They wouldn't do it when she was that young. So we had to wait a whole year not knowing how allergic Luxie really was. Like normal levels, and if it's anything above it, they're allergic. And she was like way above it, like very allergic. So I knew that I was going to be an EpiPen mom after that. So she was also allergic to cow's milk and sesame seeds and a few other things. Like we found out she's allergic to cats that way. 
and but not allergic to any of the Texas allergens, which is crazy to me. So she's more of like a food allergy type of girl. And I've been finding that more and more kids are having food allergies these days. And I believe it's because of all of the things that are in our foods, but I won't go into that topic now. The pediatrician told me that it will probably be worse if it happens again. So typically if you have a reaction like that where it's hives, the next time it could go into anaphylaxis or something like that. And that's not to scare you, that is to prepare you um, because I wish that I had the information I'm going to be giving you today when I found out Luxie was allergic because um, it's just a really scary feeling as a mom because of course you just want to protect them and keep them safe and it's really really hard when something can harm them that's everywhere. So um, I'm going to go on to the next thing here. Number two, do you have an EpiPen? So has your pediatrician uh, prescribed an EpiPen to you? If you have a child that has a severe allergy, I would highly recommend having an EpiPen. It comes with two, one for you to administer and one for the paramedics whenever they come, if they need to. And it also comes with a trainer, which I think is great because I was able to train grandparents, friends, anyone that could be around my child. Um, so that way I could leave her with them and know that they know how to use an EpiPen just in case something ever happened. I take mine anywhere Luxie goes, it's with us. We actually have a couple, so I have one here at home. I have one at my parents' house and I have one in the diaper bag and I think I have one in the car. So, you know, I just keep them on hand and they do expire, so make sure that you check the expiration dates on those. And there's like a little tube on the inside that'll like change a color whenever they're expired. So you can look at that too. And then number three, you need to learn how to read nutrition labels. So luckily before Luxy was ever even born, I've been a wellness and health freak. So reading nutrition labels was just something that I did anyway. But I realized that not a lot of people are trained to read nutrition labels. You're not really taught to read them unless you took some kind of class in college on it. But the main step in reading a nutrition label is just looking at the ingredients and making sure that there are no peanuts in the ingredients. Now some um, packaged things will say may contain peanuts or traces of peanuts because it was also processed in a facility that processes peanuts. Um, we personally do not risk that. I will not give Luxy things that have been processed in the same place as peanuts because you just never know. It could have been on the same belt, they could have used the same equipment with it, and I just don't wanna risk it. Luckily, most brands have in bold if it does have peanuts at the very bottom because peanuts are a very high allergen, um, so you could always look for the bold, but I would always go through and just read the ingredients and you'll get so good at it, you'll just be able to pinpoint out the peanuts after a while, trust me. <laughs> so yeah, and you would be surprised at the things that have peanuts in them. It's not always going to be like cookies that are peanut butter cookies or something like that. Sometimes it's going to be something that you would have no idea that has peanuts in it. One time I had hot cocoa that had peanuts in it and it wasn't like peanut butter hot chocolate. It was just regular like candy cane hot chocolate and it had peanuts in it. So you just always have to be careful and always read the labels. My next thing is you have to be careful where you eat now. So once I found out that Luxie was allergic, um, I instantly thought of Chick-fil-A because we love Chick-fil-A and everything there is fried in peanut oil. Well, come to find out, if it's fried in peanut oil, it actually gets so hot that it destroys the protein that you're allergic to. So we can eat Chick-fil-A no problem. Luxie has Chick-fil-A all the time. We had it for breakfast this morning. So Chick-fil-A is okay. However, there are still a lot of restaurants that are swimming with peanuts. Panda Express is one of them. Um, we can't even go in a Panda Express because they use all of the same cooking utensils for all of their different dishes, if you didn't know that. So everything is highly cross-contaminated at all Panda Expresses, as far as I know. Um, 
and most Asian restaurants have a lot of dishes that contain peanuts and sometimes they use a peanut powder to thicken sauces and things like that. So always make sure that the waiter or waitress knows that you have a peanut allergy at the table and that no one at your table should have peanuts in their dish. Um, that's very important and I still wouldn't trust anyone waiter or waitress because we have told someone that before and they brought out a plate with the chicken with peanuts just all over it and we specifically said no peanuts in any of our food and we told her how important it was she still brought out a dish with peanuts and she was like well can you just take them off no that's not how it works <laughs> another thing that i learned is that you have to tell people at ice cream places too because for the scoops, all they do once they scoop it is just put it in hot water. They don't sanitize them at all. So everything's going into the same hot water to like melt the ice cream off. So if your child has an allergy, you need to tell them. One time we, they gave us all of our ice cream and then they told me they needed to sanitize the scoop and it would take 30 minutes. So everyone had their ice cream but Luxie and she had to wait 30 minutes. Try explaining that to a two-year-old. So always make sure that you tell them up front, you know, she or he is allergic to peanuts. We need to make sure that everything is sanitized and there's no cross-contamination. The next thing is telling family and friends. So I feel like allergies are such a personal issue, but whenever it comes to a child, you want to make sure that anyone who has contact with your child knows about this allergy. Luckily, we have very understanding family and friends and they were all on board to learning everything whenever we found out that Luxie was allergic. I know that not everyone is that lucky. So you need to make sure that everyone knows and the importance of it. And if you have an EpiPen, you need to train them to use the EpiPen if your child will ever be left alone with them. And if they don't take it seriously, I would never leave your child alone with them, ever because all it takes is that one time. Sometimes it helps to tell them that you have to carry an EpiPen. For some reason, people take it more seriously whenever they know you have an EpiPen. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but it seems to be the case for me anyways. And the reason that you really wanna let your friends know too, and probably all of your friends, like I would just send out a mass text, you know, oh my gosh, I just found out that so-and-so is highly allergic to peanuts or whatever it is if they're highly allergic because now you're looking at your friend's kids' birthday parties. Are they gonna have a peanut butter cake? Are they gonna have peanut butter ice cream? Are they gonna have peanuts? So it's important to tell family and friends for that reason, for family events, because you know Aunt Sue may always bring everyone's favorite Reese's pie. And if everyone's eating peanut butter pie around your child, there's a high chance that your child's going to get into that pie at some point, whether they get into it themselves or somebody gives it to them. So it's just really good to make sure that all of your family and friends know about the allergy. The next thing is telling your child. So depending on their age, you can start explaining this to them. Since we found out when Luxie was eight months old, um, I just have always told everyone around her. And then when she started speaking, and we started eating food like outside of the house and things, I started explaining to her that she is allergic to peanuts. She knows about her EpiPen. At two years old, she could tell a family member that she was allergic to peanuts. So we had never really been around our family like that since Lexi was born because they kind of live far away. And we went over to a family member's house. There were so many people there and they were all just loving on Luxie. And one of them took her into a pantry because they have tons of kids there. And Luxie looked at her and said, I'm allergic to peanuts at two. So it's very important for your kids to know what they're allergic to. Also, it always makes me think of like that daddy daycare scene where the girl's like, I'm allergic to yellow dye number two and red dye da 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 da. But that's my kid. She's going to tell you what she's allergic to, and I'm very proud of that. 
is Luxie just turned three and I'm teaching her what peanut looks like. Obviously she can't fully read yet, but she can spell out peanut. So she can look at a nutrition label and see if it says peanut. So start early because it could really save your child's life. The faster that you teach them about their allergy, the faster they are to learn and it could save their life. So um, the next thing is flying or traveling. If you're going on an airplane, make sure to tell um, the flight attendant that you have a child with an allergy. More than likely, they will sanitize the plane and they will make sure that no peanuts are given out during your flight. Um, the next thing is to be aware. I can't tell you how many times I have found peanuts or um, peanut M&Ms on the ground at a restaurant, at Walmart, at the park, at the playground, any children's places, one time at the zoo, um, just on the ground. And so when your kids are little, they're always exploring and picking things up and sometimes putting them in their mouth. So just always be aware of everything around you. And I know it can be hard when you're a mom, especially if you have more than one kid because you're looking after your other kids, but just always be as aware as you can. People really don't think about that because if they don't have an allergy or know someone with an allergy, they don't care. They're just gonna leave their peanut shells everywhere and whatever. One time I was at a play place with Luxie for kids and a mom was making peanut butter and jellies and giving it to her kids and the kids were eating them and getting peanut butter all over the toys. So me and Luxie just left because I'm like, this is so bad. This could be so bad. What if we came after and Luxie picked up a toy with a glob of peanut butter on it, you know? I don't know ex you know, how allergic she could be now, but I really don't wanna find out. I'm not saying any of this to scare you. Like I said in the beginning, I just want you to be aware and I want you to be able to protect your child the best way you know how. I'm just giving you the information that I wish I had when I found out that Luxie was allergic to peanuts. Um, I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And to bring awareness to family and friends, you could share this video on social media, like on Facebook, and then in the title say, so-and-so is allergic to peanuts, please watch this video. I feel like it would just bring more awareness to peanut allergies. I'm trying to do that myself because my daughter is allergic and it's just a big heavy topic for me. Please subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. I have so many toddler meal idea videos and all of them are peanut free, obviously. In a lot of my recipes, I have peanut alternatives as well. So I will link a playlist in the video description for you if you wanna check that out. But thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have have an awesome day. Bye.